Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser, and what do we have on tap for you today? Well, we've got a video clip that was filmed at a Trump rally, and it is Black American MAGA patriots basically giving a message to the Democratic Party, and it's one that they need to listen to, folks, and that they are not oppressed. They're proud Black Americans, and what do they think of Black Lives Matter? You won't want to miss this clip. Let's see it and our reaction to it as well. Atlanta. Come on. That's what the BLM movement is. Yeah. They're tending to the scratch on my finger, and that's not even what it's about. If you want to help us, let us tell you how you can help us. Yes. Don't come in and tell us how you want to help us and don't tell me that I'm oppressed because I'm not oppressed. I'm a black American. I'm a proud black American. I'm not oppressed. I am not oppressed. I'm one of the freest persons on this world. Come on, kneel for no man. I only kneel to God. As you can see, no one has the over me except for God. As you can see, as you can see, black conservatism is the new punk rock. And folks, that in a nutshell, like you said, black conservative black conservatism is a new punk rock. Look at this thing here. Big government sucks. And if you notice, I'm gonna go back play that all over again, and then comment on some of the things. This goes by fast, but I just want to comment on some of the things that this gentleman right here is saying about him not being oppressed. So let's go through that again and hear it. I just, I love it. Come on. That's what the BLM movement is. Yeah. They're tending to the scratch on my finger. And like you said, they're tending to a little scratch, and they like a Band-Aid on there, instead of, you know, putting the whole thing into perspective. Uh, it, it, exactly that's true. They're just coming in and basically just saying, okay, let's work on these small little things over here, whereas a whole lot of the big picture is out here in terms of the, um, I guess, the conditions that need to be addressed within the black community in the United States of America. And that's not even what it's about. If you want to help us, let us tell you how you can. And just like you said, if you want to help, if you truly want to help, listen to what we're saying as black Americans. Here's where you can help. Don't you come into our communities and tell us, here's what we're going to do. Here's where your problems lie. Oh, it's um, white supremacy. It's racism. It's bigotry. It's, you know, they're not teaching, you know, uh, AP classes, you know, in high school anymore, black history or whatever. Don't come and tell us what we want, what, what we need or we want. We will tell you what we need, what we want. And that goes for any demographic, anybody out there, whether you're white, green, blue, red, you know, purple, whatever. All right. We have too many people out there coming in saying, this is what you need to do. And if you do this, we'll give you X, Y, and Z. Folks, these black Americans here are saying, uh-uh, we're having none of that. And help us. Yes. Don't yes. come in and tell us how you want to help us. And don't tell me that I'm oppressed because I'm not oppressed. No. I'm a black... I love that when he says he's not oppressed. He's not on the plantation. I talk about this all the time. I use the acronym DUPED. D-U-P-E-D. DUPED. America, don't be duped. Minorities, don't be duped. All right, people of color, don't be duped. What does DUPED stand for? The dependency, I mean, dependency of the utopian plantation, the democratic utopian plantation for the expansion of democracy all right the the democratic utopian plantation for the expansion of dependency that's what dupe stands for and like he says <laughs> i ain't oppressed i'm free and a free black man american i'm a proud black american i'm not oppressed i'm not oppressed and notice how he said he's a proud black american he didn't say he's a proud African-American, and there has to be a distinction that is drawn between that. And that's what's not happening. Everybody, there are a lot of people that are out there, a lot of black Americans who say, you know what, I don't want to be called African-American. I have absolutely no ties to Africa whatsoever, other than maybe some genealogy lines, genealogy lines you know, going back, obviously, uh, perhaps in their family history. But as far as they say, other than just having a genealogy line that may trace back with their some of their you know ancestors um previously you know from Africa there are many black americans you know that are here 
that basically say, I want to be called an American. You want to identify me because of my skin color. I'm black American, but I don't want to be identified as African American. And that is so true. I'm one of the freest persons on this world. Come on, kneel for no man. I only kneel to God. And like he said, he's the freest person. I don't care where you live, but if you're any person of any color, any minority, any ethnicity, any demographic, any religious background, um, you know, any culture, the best country in the world for you to continue to do what you want to do is still the United States of America. You think that any black American that's living within the confines of this country within the United States of America isn't a million times better off than those Afri than those uh, um, black people that are living in sub-Saharan Africa or other areas of the country or uh, other areas of the globe. And when he says he doesn't kneel for anybody unless he kneels before God, it also is showing you the strong, the absolute strong relationship that black Americans have with the religion um, in, in, in terms of just uh, practicing it in their home, practicing it in their churches. I mean, there is a strong religious connection between the church and between and religion and black Americans. As you can see, no, no one has a as you, over me except as, for God. As you can see, as you can see, black conservatism. And they said black conservatism, it's on the rise, folks. Donald Trump doubled the vote from 6% to almost 12% in the 2020 election. In 2024, that's gonna go even higher as more blacks leave the democratic plantation, the democratic utopian plantation for the expansion of dependency, duped, you hear it first, you heard it here first, and come over to the Republican side, the conservative side. Folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host, my name is Dr. Nasser. Like, share, follow this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. I'll leave you with my final thought, which is when you're right to right, like these guys here, these black American MAGA patriots, and when you're left, those guys are so long, so wrong. <laughs> Anyways, folks, take care and stay safe.